Hi, this info session is part of a wider user uptake strategy of the European Commission. One of the aims of that strategy is to stimulate the development and use of innovative downstream applications that incorporate Copernicus data and services. One of the objectives of CMEMS is to provide different levels of information dedicated to both scientific community and users like public authorities or industrial companies. This submodule concerns CMEMS products able to provide ocean color information to derive indicators of algae bloom. It is dedicated to the access products such as mass concentration of chlorophyll in seawater and optical property measurements giving information about transparency, organic materials and suspended matter in seawater. The objectives of the modules are to show how to access ocean color Siemens products using a Python procedure and how to download a subset of data. The particular use case shown here concerns the monitoring of ocean color in the North Atlantic Sea to evaluate the presence of algae bloom and suspended matter in seawater. To access the specific product, go to the website of the Copernicus Marine Environment Service following the link on this slide. The registration process is described here, but the video hereafter displays the step-by-step -step process necessary for your registration. Once on the CMEMS web page, click on Register Now, located on the top right menu, Shortcut to Services. You then access the user's registration form. First of all, click on Service Commitments and License and read the corresponding document. It describes in detail how the service is made and the role of the service desk to accompany users. It also includes information about the name of the products and the geographical areas concerned. Return to the user registration form and complete the requested information about you, your user's detail, your organization details and the areas of relevance. You can activate several selections. You must also mention how you heard about CMEMS. At the bottom of the page you have to sign the service level agreement by accepting the terms and conditions of the CMEMS license and enter the proposed code and send the form. You will now receive an email from the CMEMS service desk with your login and password, containing as well a first level of information for an easy quick start. The email also displays links to video tutorials. The next slides will show you the ocean color products available. In our particular case, we will look at them over the North Atlantic Sea. We will then choose a product displaying near real time ocean color from satellite observation. And finally, I will show you how to access the Python command line example and adapt it to download a subset of data, which is the purpose of this presentation. The next video will show you how to access the products, identify a near real-time product of chlorophyll concentration information and adapt the provided Python command line to be used for automatic download. In this particular case, we will get information about ocean color in the North Atlantic region. A first approach consists in selecting the products resulting from modeling. Biogeochemical models mostly provide mass concentration of chlorophyll in seawater only. To do so, we select models product. Each modeling area provides such information. Then, we click on ocean chlorophyll to select only biogeochemical models. A second approach consists in selecting the products coming from satellite observations. To do so, we return to the main menu and select model and ocean chlorophyll, but select satellite observations instead. To refine the request on ocean color observations only, we indicate in the keyword search area the word ocean color. Finally, to access near real time product, we click on the button near real time products. Choose the product relative to near real time chlorophyll in the Atlantic by clicking on more information you access the product page of the selected product. To reach the Python command line, click on Download Product. You can modify the requested date and then click on Download. Then you can either download manually by clicking on Write Download button indicating the size of the file, either look for a script that will give you the possibility to automatically download files. Choose the dataset and click on the button View Script. To execute this command line, you have to copy and paste in your editor window and proceed to modifications. In the slide coming, you will see how to complete the command line we copied and pasted. The first necessary changes are the update of the directory paths for your Python and Motu. 
Then you have to indicate your CMEMS login and password in the command line. The name of the product as well as the name of the selected datasets are indicated here in green. According to your needs, you can modify the geographical extent of the download. In that case, change the longitude and latitude as min and max as shown here. You can also modify the start date and the end date of the extraction following the direction given here. Finally, give the name of the output file and the name of the directory where the extraction will be written. This slide gives complementary information concerning the HTTP proxy you use. Contact your system administrator to get help if need be. Once all the changes are done, execute the command line into a terminal window. That's it. You have learned how to download a subset of data over your area of interest. No need to be a professional to tailor the command line I've just shown you. If you need help, feel free to contact the CMEMS help desk, which is really efficient. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps.